prayer service that you need to be there. If it's a Bible study going on, you need to be there. If it's you Friday and the service going on, you must be there for the simple fact that we must joke amongst our own. I know sometimes you might see somebody, you might start to get to judging one's actions and, oh, what are you doing? Or what she's doing? And this and that. You must not let no one walk discourage you for walking your walk. I'm trying to tell you so, because it's easy to judge. It's easy to look into somebody else's life, and it's easy just to be like, you, 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 this is, but what about you? How about that? What about you? Now, let's, let's go, let's, let's go to Luke. Let's go to Luke chapter 6, 22 real quick. Luke 22, chapter 6. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Listen, 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 listen. Now I'm 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 coming from the amplified version for the younger crowd that can't get a hold to the E.I. It said, blessed, happy with life, satisfaction, and God's favorite salvation. Apart from you outward condition and to be envy. Or when people despise and hate you, and when they exclude you, excommunicate with you, and revile and denounce you, defame and cast out and spurn your name as evil on the account of the Son of Man. And then he goes on, and look, he said, look, 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 look with God, because he get after that. Luke give you a little encouragement after, after your friends forsake you, after they cast you out, after they say that you're evil, because you don't longer do the things they do. Look, 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 look at the motivation part. It says, rejoice and be glad at such a time and exalt and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is rich and great, strong and intense, abundant in heaven. For even so, their forefathers treated the prophets. Amen. There's nothing new under the sun. Come on, saints. There's nothing new under the sun. This is it's just telling you, giving you a little forewarning that when you proclaim this thing, everybody ain't gonna wrap around you and be like, I'm trying to tell you something. It's something that I went through. The ones that I thought that was going to encourage me and push me the most of the ones that did this. I mean, it was so hurtful, so discouraging, but it was just something inside me that gave me the strength to keep pushing and going on, no matter what Finn or foe did or what Joe did, what it gave me a sense of strength. Let me let me let y'all go. Now, now we go, go to Second Corinthians real quick. Second Corinthians. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians. I'm so sorry for the church. But it's just something inside you that just gives you the energy. Chapter 6, verse 6, 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, it says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be separated, says the Lord, and touch not the clean thing, and I will receive you. Amen. Amen. See, it's a process. Yes. Listen, people wonder why God is not showing up in their lives. It is a process that you must take. You must take. It says you must come out of that and touch not no unclean thing. Yes. They think just because they make marijuana legal that it's clean. Come on, now. They think, listen, 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 listen. listen. The Bible says you cannot be tempted but by your own desires. Listen, you cannot come to me with a crack pipe. 
and say, come smoke this crack. But if you came with some fine greenery, you understand? Yeah. If you would have came with some weed, marijuana, ganja, whatever you so call it, you had me in your hooks. Amen. I had something inside me that's what I made me. Oh man, oh, they said all herbs is good for healing, man. I started manipulating every last little scripture there is, and yes, it was yes, just something yes. in me. And uh, 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 now, now they start to justify things, man. But I, I'm, I, I am one against recreational marijuana use. Recreational marijuana. If there's something for medicine and things in that type of nature, and they help ease your pain. Let's go for let's go for what you know. But um, it says you must. It says seventeen. Come out from among them and be separated. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Romans twelve. Romans twelve. Let's see what 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 what, what Paul was saying to the Romans. Romans 12, verse 1. Say, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your body as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. Praise God. Praise God. Present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. Amen. What's this thing that you receive be in you? It's a condition of what you must do. It's 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 something that just gets me sometimes when I take a little stroll through Facebook. And I'm one, I'm one of Facebook ministry if it's such a thing. Because the simple fact is, if you just try it one day when you're driving in the street, just take account of how many people you see like this. They want to, they want to look at the light, they just like this. If, if, if technology has our children in a web like this, why not have the worm in that web? You understand? If we proclaim that the apostolic doctrine is it, you understand? If the apostolic doctrine is it, why we ain't proclaiming it everywhere I go? If I'm on Facebook, I'm proclaiming some type of glory, or I'm showing the glory of God about my wife, my children. I'm showing everybody, okay, I don't let say life no more. This is the way God has done for me. This is what God has blessed me with. Won't you um, get a little taste of this? And you know, um, this is this is just how I feel about social media. There's some people that have come before you and start getting in here. Shut down all Facebook and social media. Shut this down and shut that down. And you know, to God be the glory. That's how they want. But I'm just trying to reach all. You understand? If 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 all these if if, if majority of the country just by its own social media, the world is on social media. The gospel has to be there. Amen. The gospel has to be there. Now, 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 let's go to on um, First Peter. We're going to walk through this. First Peter, verse 1. Oh, y'all almost out of here. It said, first, first Peter, chapter 1, verse 16. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father who is without respect of personal judgment, according to every man's work past the time of your sojourning, here in fear, 
Now, 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 let's go to the epilogue. It says 16. He said, For it's written, You shall be holy because I am holy. And if you are called upon him as a father and judge each one impartially according to that he does, you shall conduct yourself with true reverence throughout the time of your temporary residence here on earth, whether long or short. Whether long or short, you got to walk to proclaim while you are here on earth. Now, now, as, as you begin to uh, walk this walk, man, we talk about the spirit and something that's brewing inside, church. We, I, it's just a couple of things I wanted you just to take note of and let it seep down in your spirit. Uh, we gonna go to um, the book of Galatians, chapter five, and, and just let it seep down in your spirit, church. Chapter five, verse 17, it says, now, 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 this is the spirit, and we got the flesh. Now listen to what the Bible says. For the flesh is lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to the one, one to the other, one to other, so that ye cannot do the things that you want. I mean, is anybody in here could just testify that this is a struggle to walk this walk? Amen. That it's not, it's not, it's not easy. That it's always something that's a tug of war. Yes. That you want to do so good, but the flesh want to do so wrong. Yeah, yes. yeah, come on now. Then it says, it says, but if he be led by the Spirit, ye not under the law. Now the works of the flesh is manifested, which are these. Now look, look, look. Now the works of the flesh is manifested with your these. Now this Galatians 5 is a very strong book because it lets you discern because that means the flesh got to do what it got to do and the spirit going to do what it got to do. So now if you got patience, if you just watch and observe, don't say nothing, it's going to be obvious which one is led by. That's right. This is when you get to discern. Yes. But if some of us don't have the patience, yes. some of us don't have the, the humbleness just to sit back and observe one nature. That's why I give God thanks for what he brought me through. There's so many trials and tribulations where I couldn't be boastful or bragful. You understand? I was in, in a prison where I was outnumbered where I had to be humble. You understand? I didn't have all my friends that I grew up with right beside me. So he, I, learned, I knew how to be humble and sit there and just watch and see all the, the, the scavengers be scavengers and one prayer next to each other. But now in this walk, I use that same attribute. Yes, amen. That same attribute to watch and discern the church. Now, now, what was it? It says, it says, it says, now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, less sufficient, um, allegory, witchcraft, hatred, um, barrenness, um, humiliation, wrath, strife, city, hearsays, envy, murder, drunkenness, revealing, um, such light things. Listen to what he says. Now listen. And such like of uh, which I tell you, tell you before, I have also told you in time past that they which do such a thing shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Listen, I didn't say it. The Bible said it. It said variance. You'll be like, what's variance? And you want to take the time out to go look it up or anything like that. But I'm going to tell you what variance, because these are some, this is very important, because they say you will not reach the kingdom of heaven. So it's very important to know what these words are. It said you will not reach the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Now it says, now, now, it said variance. That's inconsistent. There's something being inconsistent. So you're inconsistent with the walk. You're inconsistent with the talk. Don't think you're going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. You got to thank God for his mercy. You got to thank God for his grace. Because you cannot inherit it. Now listen, listen, listen. these are warnings. 
heart in. Humiliation is when you try to you envious of somebody. You try to outdo the next person. Oh, Sister Brady, she brought back so and so on her fish fry. What? Let me go ahead and I got. Well, we gonna go try to outdo her. But we doing things. We doing the Lord's work. No mind me using you, Sister Brady. But we just in here all to do the Lord's work. To push this kingdom forward, to help try to spread the word, strengthen the church so we can bring in more amen, souls. You amen, understand? Amen. It's, no, it's no reason that each and one of these seats shouldn't be filled. It's no, I'm feeling my heart. It's no reason that my pastor shouldn't be looking for somewhere else to go uh, buy another church in so we can keep on growing. It's yeah. the, but we all got to pit in work. Amen. We all got to pit in work. Now it says adultery. This is this is this is my, one of my favorite ones. It says I don't gotta get an adultery. We know what that is. Um, Lassivy. Lassivians. Sivians. Now when I went and looked up this man, it blew my mind. When I went and looked up that word to find out where it blew my mind. Lust. When somebody gave you a lustful look. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that, that look. You, you understand when you, and, and there's so much going on on Facebook, and they don't even know what type of flesh and demons is upon them when they throwing all these pictures. Yeah. <laughs> they, do, they, do, they don't even know what they call it the porn on. When you when you got all these, these they they have listen they have all these tight wearing things on the spandex oh man I mean I used to be one when I was up the world I love to see a girl woman in tights right. you understand me that lust demon that was inside me see I knew my fight yes see I can call it out now because it's not in a fight to me no more. But now I got, to, I got to open the other people's eyes. Yes. Them tights and stuff, just they're showing off all your V shape, oh, huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Everything, showing off everything. Yes. Here on Facebook for, for, for a couple 200 likes, and, and here it is. You, you gotta, you throw, after you throw in a tight, you gotta, the nerve to throw in a tube top. You just showing up all your stuff for likes. for likes, that lustful stuff. Yes. Yeah. Preach it, brother. Sadiness. Strife. Yes. Witchcraft. Yes. Hearsay. Envy, murder, drunkenness. I used to have a friend of mine right there, to God be the glory. He used to say, well, Al, Al, come on, man. Drink it. He said, Jesus made the best one. I said, huh? He said, you can't tell me that one wasn't good. If Jesus made it. I said to God, I'll be the glory. I said he obeyed his mother. I said, but it said drunkenness. Because <laughs> when you're drunk, it's a different spirit, different. You can't rationalize, you can't think straight. What happened when was it Abraham? Yes, Noah. Noah. That slept with him. When he slept when he slept with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. To God be the glory. When Lot was drunk, they had to get him drunk. Yeah, he got a drunk with a spirit. In order for him to sleep with his wife, I mean his two daughters. Drunkenness. Strife. Strife. Discords. Brethren talking about brethren. Separation in the church. When God said, I'll add to the church daily, 
Here it is, people inside the church trying to separate and cause confusion, calling this one the gossip, calling that one the gossip. Uh -huh. This is not good in the church. If you calling someone the gossip, now we got this brother in here and he need the word to build up. Don't think a person don't know what's going on. You understand? Yeah. It's like if I was in if I was in a house with some people, I know if they was truly loving me or they was just showing some fake love. You so why you think we in this house of the Lord and somebody faking something? Like they don't know what's going on. You understand? We got to really commune with each other and really just put our heart into it. We are all born dying. We are all born dying. It's two deaths. At the end, we got to give account to the works that we did here and then be judged. You understand? But um. We all know that speaking in tongues is the evidence of the Holy Ghost. It's the sign, initial signs of receiving it. But after that, it's a walk. It's a walk. Okay, you got the evidence that you have the spirit, but after that comes with it, it's a walk. You got to walk this apostolic faith. You got to keep pushing on. You got to preach and teach this doctrine. But in order for you to get to that point, you got to walk it. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Walking, breathing, breathing, sleeping. Now, 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 let, I just want to go to Matthew 23. Verse 25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the 